And in this video, we'll be looking at lab 3.5, which is a challenge lab to troubleshoot the memory. So in this lab, we are an IT help desk technician, and we have a ticket in the ticketing system called issue tracks. And so we need to open that up, resolve the problem, add a comment describing what actions we took, and then close the ticket. So in the labs, the ticketing system is an app that's installed. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to search for issue. And now I see issue tracks. So I'm going to open that up and look at the ticket. Hi, my desktop in the executive office won't turn on. Instead of beeps, I Googled the problem and it looks like it may be a memory issue. Can you come fix it for me? P.S. I have software that requires eight gig of memory to run properly. Could you upgrade that while you are here? So let's take a look. So I'm going to switch back. I'm going to look at the floor. I see the executive office. And, oh, we probably don't want the laptop. It's going to be his desktop. So hit play or start. You can hear the beeps. Yep, that's not a good sign. So I'm going to turn that back off and let's go in and take a look at the motherboard. So I'm going to zoom in here. I can see that he has two sticks of RAM installed. I'm going to go to the tools and grab out the memory tester and I will test these one at a time. So I'm going to grab this guy, drag it over, plug it in, hit the test button. And that one looks good. So. I'm going to connect that back up and I'll test the other stick. That one is bad. So rather than stick it in my inventory where it can be a little confusing, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to drag it over to the other side of the computer so that it's not going to be accidentally grabbed again. Sometimes it can be confusing in this window what you do. So I might be tempted to use this DDR4 8 gigabit RAM. It's like, hey, we'll just do it all. But if you, you always want to check and see, will this motherboard support it? So I'm going to look at the info for the motherboard. And let's make it bigger. And I'm going to do a control F and search for DDR. And let's find that in my dock. So it's right here. It's saying DDR3 dim slots. And there is no DDR4 listed. So we can do three, two, um, okay. So yeah, we can only do three. So that's a no-go. So what I'll want to do is I'm going to test each of these other sticks that we have and make sure they are good before I put them in. So let's zoom back in while it's running its test. Okay, so that one's bad. Let's dump it out. That was one. Since they're numbered, I can do that. And it does go to the bottom. So one is bad. Let's try four. That one's bad. So let's get rid of that one. Let's try two. Okay, that one is good. And I can see, let me zoom in. It might be a little hard to see on the screen, but that's also telling us how much it has. So this is two gig, which is what the original card was that's working. So I'm gonna plug that in and I'm gonna need four of those to get to eight. So let's test this one. That one's good. So I'll plug that one in as well. And then let's see if this one is any good. Okay, that one is good as well. And you notice on the tester, it has a DDR2 slot and a DDR3. So that's why I've been using this slot because these are all DDR3. Okay, so I have them all plugged in. Let's look at the front of our computer and we'll see if it boots up. Power it on. And that's looking good. I'm getting the windows loading. It's not beeping at me. So I'm going to call that good. 
So what we need to do now is go back to our own computer and finish with the ticket. So I'm in the, I believe I was in the IT admin. Yeah, there we go. IT admin. So it's assigned. I need to close this ticket and put in a comment that let's say replaced bad RAM with new stick and added two additional two gigabit sticks. Okay, so I have got that. Don't know about this interface. I guess I think I probably had to hit that plus to save my comment. I've closed it. So let's score it and see how we did. Great. Thank you for joining me.